Ever wonder why some folks, particularly those who've seen more sunsets than most, tend to punctuate their movements with an array of grunts, moans, or other expressive sounds? It's a curious question indeed. As it turns out, the answer is quite scientific and can be boiled down to a single word, strength. In a conversation with Mel Magazine, chiropractor Robert Hayden explains, Rising from a chair calls upon core strength of the abdominal muscles. The older you are, the more likely you are to have had those muscles ravaged by time. And it's not just about muscle strength. When people strain with this kind of effort, they often hold their breath to augment muscle strength. You've probably done it yourself when lifting something heavy, but when breathing is resumed, that's when the grunting sound is produced. So it's not just about getting older, but about how our bodies change over time. The same core engagement that allows a child to bounce up from a couch without a sound becomes a bit more challenging as we age. The muscles we once took for granted may resist sudden movement, leading to a reflexive nigh when we rise from a chair. But let's not forget, groaning isn't always about discomfort. Sometimes we use these sounds as signals, letting others know we're having a little trouble. Or perhaps we do it out of habit, having associated certain movements with discomfort in the past. And interestingly enough, these sounds could even help increase exertion. Think of tennis players or powerlifters. A well-timed guh might just give them the extra push they need to make that serve or lift that weight. In a similar way, a good grunt might be the extra boost you need to rise from a comfy recliner. So next time you hear that familiar grunt, remember, it's not just about age, it's about strength, resistance, signals, and sometimes, it's just about getting up from a chair as impressively as winning the US Open.